Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson, and today's review is going to be on The Eternals. Okay, let me start out by saying that I was super pumped about this movie when they first announced it, you know, because I love the cosmic entities that exist in the comic book lore of the Marvel Universe. And this, and we got a little bit of it with Thor, and we got a little bit of it with Guardians of the Galaxy, but this movie is about the whole universe in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Did it live up to my expectations? Yes, it did. This movie was awesome, and I loved it. Now, there are a few problems I have with the film. One being, this rude couple sat right next to me and talked for two and a half hours, and I could tell by their demeanor that if I would have said something to them, that they would have been like, uh-uh, nah, -uh, don't tell, no, nobody tell me what to do. Nobody's going to tell me what to talk and who to talk and why not to talk and blah, 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 blah. So it was either, do I get mad and angry for these people getting mad and angry, or do, do I just suck it up because I'm not 18 anymore and I can't just put people in headlocks and stuff. So I can't do that, so I didn't do it, so I had to suffer through these people talking and it drove me insane and kind of ruined my experience. This was actually the worst theater-going experience I've ever had. But that had nothing to do with the movie. The movie was incredible and awesome. So guys, if you go out to the theater, be kind and don't be rude like these people were and ruin it for everybody just because you want to blah, 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 and be on your phone. Oh, look who texted me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she said that. Oh my God, right now. During the movie, I mean, gosh, during crucial moments of the movie, I was just, oh, I was just quaking in my seat. But anyway, on to the movie. I loved this movie. It was a little bit long, too long, I thought. There, there was a lot to it. There's a lot involved, but there were some scenes that I felt like they could have just done without and clipped it maybe about 15, 20 minutes. This movie would have been tight, but they didn't. They did what they did. But it didn't ruin the movie. I just felt like it was too long. By the time it was over, I was kind of ready for it to be over. And I don't like feeling like that. I want to keep on going. So that was the only little gripe that I had. Um, besides, there's a post credit scene. And you're going to know when you watch it, the first post credit scene, the CGI that they did was horrific and unnecessary. And I'm very disappointed that Disney did it. So... Just know that's how I felt about that scene when you see it. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, but I was very disappointed in that scene. Another little nitpick I had was, you know, Kit Harrington was in this, you know, from Game of Thrones, John. He's in this movie, and he's playing the Black Knight, and I love the Black Knight character in the comic book, so I got super excited when they were using all their marketing material to show that he was in this movie, and he was barely in it. I mean, he's barely in it in the beginning, then he's barely in it in the end. So if you're looking forward to that, just know that he's barely in it in the, in the beginning, a little bit in the middle, and then barely in it at the end. So I was kind of disappointed in that as well, but they set it up for the next movie that he'll be more of a presence there. So I get it, and I'm cool with it. So it's not really a gripe, but I was just kind of let down by that because I thought he was going to have a bigger role in this. But he didn't, so it is what it is. But anyway, as far as the movie goes, excellent. I mean, it felt epic. It felt different than the other, other Marvel movies. You know, it wasn't funny all the time. You know, it wasn't, you know, blam, blam, in your face, blam. This was more about story character development. There's a lot going on. Um, you know, they jump around time periods to kind of introduce you to the Eternals, and then they kind of, they, they, there's a situation coming where a celestial is being born out of the earth, and they're going to try to stop it. So they get everybody back together after, I think, 500 years they haven't seen each other. So they all come back together to try to stop this celestial from being born and destroying the planet and killing everybody because they're in love with humanity. You know, they have, you know, been with them since the dawn of man, and they have really grown to think of humanity as their own children. So they want to protect them and save them from what's getting ready to happen. And that's basically the gist of the story. And I, I was entertained, and 
I, I loved it. And the only thing that was bothering me was this couple next to me. <laughs> but but really, I, I got the scope of the movie, and it's huge and epic. It kind of reminded me of Dune, actually. You know, it's the same run time. It's two and a half hours long. And I, like I said, I thought it was a little bit too long. But as far as the characters go, I thought they were done really well. The directing was done really well. The special effects in this movie were incredible, except for that one scene. There's that one little scene in the first post credit scene that I despised and hated, and I, I got sick to my stomach thinking, why did you do this? But that is what it is. The whole rest of the movie was awesome. You guys will have a lot of fun in the theater watching this. I have a feeling because it is big in scope and done really well. This was actually done by Chloe Zhao, which is the number one director in the world right now. And for good reason, you can tell. Um, and she did a, a few episodes on The Mandalorian and she's actually doing the Obi-Wan series. So everybody in my circle is really excited about this kind of stuff and I am too. So that got me pumped up for this movie as well, knowing that she directed it and it was spot on. It was good. I mean, better than good. It was great, guys. Go out and see it. If you're into this Marvel Cinematic Universe, this is the next. This leads off the first uh, first of the Phase 4 movies. So this is going to lead to bigger and badder things. And big things are coming. And I'm super pumped and super excited. But guys, that's my thoughts on the movie. But it's not all about me. What about you? Have you seen The Eternals? Do you plan on seeing it? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And as always, make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember, the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!